Hey guys, it's John here again. Right, <clears throat> today I feel like total and utter rubbish. So I'm going to try and get through this video. Definitely got a cold on the way. Um, earache, headache, throat ache, nose ache, back ache, shoulder ache, probably the flu. Flu ache, that's what they should call it. Um, <clears throat> right here we go I'm going to do my albums um, from 1980 to 85 so the first five years of the 80s uh, albums that are rock, hard rock, soft uh, yeah, rock hard rock metal thrash that I own and I'm going to show them on CD if I haven't got them on CD I'll show them on LP um, but yes I want to show them all on LP um, but by the time I take them out all, <laughs> out, all the racks um, I've got so much vinyl lying around to go to the record fair I might accidentally pick up the wrong pile and sell it at the regular fair. <laughs> so I thought, no, I'm just going to keep see these and I can hold them. How I feel today, I don't mind dropping a CD, but if I have to, if I drop something and it's vinyl, I'd be quite just peed off with myself. Right. Um, first album, I'm going to pull out the bag. It's one of my favourites from the 80s. In the early 80s, Megadeth's Killing is My Business and Business is Good. <clears throat> I'm not going to rate these, I'm just going to say that you know, I love I love all of these. I, I kept the ones out that I don't really and not really into um, so much. These are albums that mean something to me, and uh, or I can listen to them all the way through and go, Yeah, that was great, and really enjoy it. So, um, yeah, first off, killing is my business. Business is good. Just feeling down there. Metallica's kill them all. Metallica's ride the lightning. Um, Kiss Asylum Kiss Animalize Kiss Lick It Up You guessed it. Kiss, Creatures of the Night. Actually my favourite of their early 80s albums. Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell with Ronnie James Dio on vocals. I highly recommend everybody checking all of these albums out. Um, <clears throat> just, you know, I just love them to bits, so Black Sabbath Born Again. Black Sabbath Mob Rules. I've not included any compilations, live albums, EPs or anything like that. These are just just the proper albums that were released. Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz. Park at the Moon, Ozzy Osbourne. Diary of a Madman. This is my favourite Ozzy album. Um, 
little switch over on the side. U2, October. U2's boy. Queen, the works. This is my only favorite Queen album in that era, that time, 1980 to, um, <coughs> to uh, 1985. Oh God, pins and needles. Um, bon Jovi, subtitled. Seven thousand eight hundred degrees Fahrenheit, as us English people would say. Uh, if you're in America, that'd be seventy-eight hundred degrees Fahrenheit. U um, two's war. U two, the unforgettable fire. One of my favourite albums of theirs as well. These are on Island Records as well. Um, White Snake, Saint and si Saints and Sinners. I had to have White Snake in, eh? Being such a f fan of their stuff. Huge fan. Ready and Willing. Come and get it, little white snake. <clears throat> Slide it in. And then, I'm gonna go on to, um, I'm gonna miss out that other one. Foreigner, Agent Provocateur. Which is a killer album. Foreigners vo Volume 4. Oh, which is awesome. Gary Moore, Corridors of Power. There it is. Um. Can't remember if that is from that time. Yeah, I think yeah it is. Um, Gary Moore's Wild Frontier. Um, Gary Moore and Victims of the Future. Is this one? I can't remember if that is. Um, right. Then I'm going to do Journey, Escape. One of Mike's favourite bands at the moment. Uh, Journey, Raised on Radio. Just spot the sarcasm. Journey, Frontiers. He's not much of a soft rocker, eh, that guy? <laughs> um, Wasp, self-titled. Wasp, The Last Command. Queen Strike, The Warning. I'm going to leave that lot to after. ACDC's Fly on the Wall. This is one of my favourites from that time. Never used to be uh, until quite a few years ago where. Um, yeah, I was listening to it and I thought, well, 
this is a uh, good memories fun times not necessarily because I listened to it back then it's uh, one I listened to in the mid 90s in, in a friend's car so yeah um, ACDC back in black people will be saying John where is Swicker uh, <laughs> Swick, Swick <of> Fitch <laughs> flick of the switch that'd be better eh I don't like that album don't know what it is sorry my only favourite Rainbow album of that time Straight Between the Eyes and uh, fix that, don't fall down Magnum the 11th hour uh, another Magnum Chase the Dragon And their best album of the 80s, the best album all of all time, uh, on a storyteller's night. This is the 20th anniversary one. Thin Lizzy, Chinatown. Just love Killer on the Loose and Cold Sweat. That's just amazing. Cold sweats on there. Have I just picked up the wrong CD? No, sorry, not cold sweat. Um, Chinatown, Killer on the Loose. Yeah. Then we got Thin Lizzy's Thunder and Lightning album. With The Sun Goes Down and Cold Sweat on. That's the ones I was thinking of. And uh, obviously the title track. This was the one that had John Sykes on it. Um, Marillion, Misplaced Childhood, amazing album, and my favourite of theirs, Fugazi, it's got amazing artwork on that, I was reading somewhere that, I think it was one of the reviews actually inside some of these, that, um, yeah, it was on the uh, Misplaced Childhood. Someone had written in about the, uh, you know, how the band looked. Their own look was completely different to how the artwork was. Um, obviously, mid to late, mid mid eighties to when Fish left, he didn't wear all the face makeup and stuff like that. Earlier on, he did a bit like Peter Gabriel, but. When uh, he's like wearing raincoats and stuff like that to walk around on stage, and their 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 um yeah their look was very boring, very train spotter type. <laughs> Someone you'd expect to see look checking uh well spotting trains definitely. But you look at the albums and the album's artwork is just amazing. They, you know, I would go in a shop and just buy that by the artwork. And that's what I originally did when I bought their live album. So it was like a blind buy. And when I got home, I was like, this is an amazing album. Uh, next one, Marillion Scripts for Just As Tear. Uh, Dire Straits and uh, Brothers in Arms Dire Straits Love Over Gold with the most amazing song on there Telegraph Road and Private Investigations five songs on that whole album get your money's worth with them don't you um, Big Country Crossing, which is an album everybody should check out. Um, Europe on their first first album. This is the reissued cover. The original had the 
four was it four members of the band or was it five? John Levin, Tony Reno, Jerry Tempest, um, and John Norgan. I think it was only four members on the original cover. Ah, they'll be in here. Yeah, there they are. The front cover's different. I've got both different covers. One, uh, both on the LP, I've got this cover and the original. So. Um, Europe's Wings of Tomorrow, which is amazing. Um, one of the biggest, probably, albums of that time, or of 85. Hearts, um, self-titled. And another one from that uh, year before, Reckless. Brian Adams, another huge album. You want it, you got it. He's in there. Brian Adams' first album, and my first album I bought on cassette with my own money. 1980. Um, Cuts Like a Knife. These are far superior to um, anything that was done after Into the Fire. Is it Into the Fire? Yeah, something like that. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Um, Def Leppard's On Through the Night. Um, Pyromania. Maybe I should have warned uh, Cloudy to turn his head away. High and dry. I can't put that in the compilation. Um, TNT, Knights of the New Thunder. That was a great album. Uh, Fast Way, and that's their self titled. Uh, Twister's Sister, uh, you can't stop rock and roll album. Do you know what? I've forgotten some stuff, I'm gonna have to leave them to aside for now. Um, Dio, Sacred Heart. Uh, the Last in Line by Dio. Holy Diver. Scorpions, Animal Magnetism. Love at first sting. Uh, UFO making contact, which is a blinding album. It's amazing. Uh, Scorpions blackout. King Cobra. Ready to Strike, which I love this so much. This album is amazing. Uh, Great White, Stick It. I'm going to put that with that one. Um, White Lion, Fight to Survive. Which is a great album as well. Um, this is my Japanese edition from a CD from 1984, I think it is. 84? Yes. And uh, oh, the CDs decided to slide out. One of those silly Japanese covers. <laughs> the card sleeve. 
and the CD doesn't stay in there very well. Um, and this is by the band Stone Fury, which had Bruce Gowdy in, um, who went on to do World Trade, they got a new album out. Um, Unruly Child, obviously with Marcy Free, a, who used to be Mark Free. You got um, singing on this is uh, Lenny Wolf of Kingdom Come. Um, and just, you know, amazing. And even in that band, um, had Randy Castillo, who went on to play for Ozzy on drums. Um, Motley Crue, Shout of the Devil. I don't know if you can see that. Motley Crue, Too Fast for Love. And yeah, just do how long is this video? 21. I might get this all in. Um Iron Maiden's Killers album. Yes, I do love this. Power Slave. Amazing. So that wasn't Killers, that first one. That was just Iron Maiden. Stupid dick. Uh, now I got killers. Oh, I love killers. Awesome. Number of the beast. Peace of mind. Um, and I'm gonna take one break quickly. All right, that was my quick break. Uh, slightly sneezing, needed a drink. I've drunk it all yet. Oh. Right, um, so I had to check on one of the albums to make sure it was 85, and it is Gary Moore's um, Run for Cover album, which had uh, Out on the Field on and Empty Rooms. And let's we'll do that one over there in a minute. Um, John Waite and uh, this one is called Lost for Life that was 85 as well I think yeah um, a band that I am getting into quite a lot and I'm liking a lot I hear from them um, especially the Black Tiger album um, I think this is their first album called Mean Streak. I'm not sure, but um, it's definitely one from the 80s and uh, 83. And uh, yeah, what I've heard of it, a few of the songs I like already. So, um, and I've liked a lot of stuff I've heard of theirs and I'm sure I'm gonna love the rest. So yeah, go for Mean Streak. Um, we're gonna do Dockin's Breaking the Chains. Which is uh, amazing. I'm going to do Dockin's Tooth and Nail. Let's see that there. Dockin's Under Lock and Key. Which is awesome as well. Um, put that there. UFO Mechanics, amazing album. Love this to bits. Um, I'm gonna do on. Judas Priest, Point of Entry. This is their one of their eighty. That the the album between eighty. Albums between 80 and 85. This is the one that I find the weak, the weaker one. Still good though. Um, British Steel. Defenders of the Faith. And their most awesome album that I love to bits. Venge Scream of Vengeance. 
and not vengeance is scream of vengeance this is just scream of vengeance um i'm gonna go on to uh rat invasion of your privacy uh lay it down um you're in love great songs rat again out of the cellar wasn't really keen on wanted man but i listened to it yesterday again i was like wow that's cool um round and round obviously love that and back for more cool songs kicks and cool kids and uh kicks midnight dynamite with the amazing walking away on it and uh yeah amazing and their self-titled debut which was 81 um an album that i think i'm gonna put on here because i i did i I'm sick of it a bit, but it is a great album, especially from that time. And yeah, I do like some of the singles. I just don't want to listen to um, the song Give Me All Your Loving again. It just really gets on my wick. And that is um, ZZ Top's Eliminator album. And. Uh, got this loads of times on just standard LP but I thought I'd show you a picture disc and their other album Afterburner from that time as well <clears throat> this came out in 85 and yeah when I heard the song Roth Boy and Planet of Women I was like hell yeah <laughs> so yeah um, and I think that is it so I've got to go Knock at the door. See you later.